Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you guys five tips and tricks inside of Adobe Premiere Pro that you guys can use to speed up your editing and edit more efficiently. Let's do this. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Like I said in the intro, today we're gonna to be covering five tips and tricks inside of Premiere Pro that's gonna help you edit more quickly, edit more efficiently, and pump more content out for your YouTube channel. I just wanna take my knowledge of Premiere Pro and help you guys and give you some tips that'll make you guys better editors so I can start watching some more content from you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, guys, so tip number one is going to help performance of Adobe Premiere Pro and just help the whole program run a little bit smoother. So most of you out there are probably PC gamers or you have a PC you're going to be editing on. And if you're a PC gamer, you probably have a pretty nice graphics card. So for all of you out there who have an NVIDIA graphics card, GTX or RTX, you can tell Adobe Premiere Pro to take advantage of your graphics card to help it render your video and render your effects a bit quicker and just help the program run a little bit smoother. So when you open up a new project, you're gonna see a window that looks like this. We're gonna be able to name your project and choose where you wanna save your project. But if you go into the general tab down here under video rendering and playback, you're gonna see render Mercury playback engine software only. That is saying only use my CPU when rendering and we do not want that. We want our GPU to help out Premiere Pro. It really needs it. So you're gonna hit this drop down and you're going to choose Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration CUDA. CUDA cores are inside of your graphics card. They really help Premiere Pro run, and you want to allow Adobe to use your GPU to accelerate the rendering process of your videos. This is really going to help the whole program run smoother and make videos a lot quicker, render them a lot faster, and just play through them a lot smoother. So that's tip number one, guys, and it should help a lot of you. All right, guys, so tip number two is huge, and it is going to help a ton of you, and it's going to speed up your editing so much. In my videos, you may notice that it starts with me always saying like a little one-liner thing at the beginning, then my graphic intro plays, then I introduce the video by talking, and when I do that, my little Twitter lower third thing pops up, then at the end of the video, my Twitter lower third thing pops up again, and then my outro plays. That's the same for every single video. So instead of making that every single time, you need to create a template. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create your first video in Adobe Premiere Pro like this, exactly how you want it. This is my five mistakes that beginner youtubers are making if you haven't watched that video click up here i think it's up in this direction and uh yeah watch that video it'll help you a lot but i have that video here in my timeline completed and as you can see if i go to the beginning here i've got my little talk and then I've got my intro that plays, and then I introduce it here. Here's my lower third that pops up. We've got the music that always plays. And then if we go to the end of the video, we've got my lower third here again that pops up. And then we cut to my outro, and we've got the same music again. So if you have a similar setup to this with an intro and an outro, what you wanna do is you wanna create your video. Then you want to go up to File, Save As, and save it as something different. So here's five mistakes YouTubers make. I saved it as that. But if we go back here, we've got a templates folder. You wanna create a templates folder and you wanna save something like Bravity Video Template. That's what I saved. Save it as something else so you still have your video somewhere else. You still have that um, five mistakes YouTubers makes file. But now you've created another duplicate file of this same thing, YouTuber template, and you want to go through and just delete your whole video. Delete everything except for your music. Delete the intro thing. So you got your music, we've got the intro, we've got the lower third that plays here. Then we go to the end here, delete all this. All right, so there we go. So all we've got on the timeline here, guys, is the music that plays at the beginning, then the intro, then the lower third that pops up and the music fades out. And if we go to the end here, We've got the lower third, the music ramps up, and then we've got the outro that plays just like that. So that's all we have on the timeline, and then you just wanna save that. So now you have a project called YouTube template with just these two things already pre-built on your timeline. So whenever you go to create a new video, instead of opening up a new project, open up this template project, and then go up to file, save as and save it as whatever new video you want. You've still got your template file somewhere else. You've just created a new one. And now you've already got these two things built on your timeline whenever you need them. This will help you a ton. It'll make it to where you're not having to line up music and line up your intros and line up all your lower thirds and stuff every single time. If it's the same, just create a template and just use it over and over again. This will save you guys a lot of time and I really hope you guys look into it. Now we are on to tip number three and that is creating effects presets for things that you do often. So here we have a clip from once again, my most recent video, five mistakes beginner YouTubers make, go watch go watch the video. But we have a, we have a 
a clip from that right here. And uh, this is what my footage looks like when it comes directly out of the camera. It looks good, but it is a little bit flat and that is because I shoot in a flat profile. So we need to add a color grade to it. And my lighting is always the same, so I can have an effect preset color grade. So if we come down here to my effects tab and go into presets, you'll see that I have a gravity color grade right here. And if I just take that and drop it onto my footage, boom, you see it's color graded exactly how I like it. So I can turn it off and on to show you what happened. And all I have to do to color grade it is just drop my preset color grade on. And then another thing that I do quite often when I'm doing tutorials is my face cam goes down into the corner. It's no longer full screen face cam. So right there, I start talking about things that I'm doing inside of OBS. So my camera needs to go down to the corner. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to to cut the video there and then I'm gonna cut down here when it needs to go full face again and then this little section that my camera needs to go down to the corner I come over here to gravity corner cam drop it on and boom my face goes down into the corner these are all presets of things that I do quite often so I made a preset and I just need to drag and drop it on and it's done so now I'm gonna show you how you make your own presets so here I have that same video clip and I want to make a color grade preset let's say your color grade needs to be the same every time so I'm gonna click on my video and we've got the Lumetri color panel here where I make all my color corrections and there we go we can turn it off and on over here in our effects controls Lumetri color there is my color grade pretty simple but I don't want to have to go through and move all these sliders the exact same every time so you're gonna go over to your effects controls for that clip this Lumetri color right here right click on it and hit save preset then we're gonna call this gravity color and then I'm gonna hit OK and you'll see boom it pops up down there gravity color so if we delete the color grade off of this and we just drag gravity color on boom it brings our color correction in just like that nothing else is needed boom we're done now let's say we want to do the corner cam um, preset so what we're going to do is we're going to take the position and scale right here under our effects controls we're going to scale me way down here just like that we're going to go over and then we're gonna put me down into the little corner and boom, there's the corner cam. Every time I want to have my face cam in the corner, I want it to look like that. So now we're gonna make sure we're on our selected, uh, the, the, the clip that we just made the edit on. We're gonna go up to motion, which is where we made all the changes, the scale and position. And we're just gonna right click on the motion and hit save preset. And we can call this gravity. That's not how you spell gravity. Gravity, oh my God, there we go. Gravity corner and hit okay. Now, if we ever want my face cam to go down into the corner, I just take the gravity corner thing, drop it on, and boom, face cam goes down into the corner. And this preset saving works for any effect you put on the clip. Motion, opacity, time remapping, lumetri color, any of the effects you get down here, blurs, anything. You drop it on here. If you make any edits to the effect and you don't wanna have to edit that every single time, just right click, save preset, name it whatever you want. And when you drag that onto your footage, it'll do the same thing every single time. And it's going to speed up your editing a ton guys so make sure you're taking advantage of effects presets all right guys it's time for tip number four and this one is massive so if you guys have been doing this the hard way i'm so sorry that i did not make this video sooner because you're going to hate yourself once you see this if you're doing it the hard way so if we take a look at my timeline here, you'll see that I record my face cam through a real camera, and then I record my microphone through OBS. So we've got the OBS footage here. So it's just on my desktop because I'm just using it to record audio. Um, so if we go through maybe a bit of behind the scenes, look at me recording. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity. Welcome back to another video. I'm so there you go. You see, it's just, it's just my microphone layer here with just the desktop. So that's my microphone. And then here is my raw camera footage. So you can just see if we go through here, what do we got? What, what, what am I talking about here? So for all you guys out there who use OBS to stream to Twitch. So as you can see, that's my raw camera footage. The microphone sounds terrible because there's no microphone on the camera, it's just the internal mic. So what I need to do is I need to take the audio from this microphone from OBS and sync it to the audio from this face cam here so that I'm talking through this microphone, not through the camera. And a lot of people might put this one over the top and they might try to zoom in and line up these waveforms here and try to get it perfect like that. Or some people might try to take the mic vocals and match it up to like frame by frame your mouth moving. But I'm gonna show you guys a really easy way to do it. You ready for this? You wanna drag over, select both of them, right click and hit synchronize. So you wanna synchronize the audio and just hit okay. And here we go, it's gonna process it. Watch how fast this happens. I'm not gonna speed this up at all. Boom, all the way through, bam. And look at that. It has synchronized the audio together. And now all we have to do is delete the audio from my camera. Boom, you set the bit rate of your stream. 
2500 to 3000 is a pr so now we have this microphone perfectly synced up with my face cam if you've been doing that the hard way going frame by frame trying to sync it up I am so sorry. I, I feel really bad for you. Just hit synchronize. Let the program do it for you. All right, guys, last but not least, it is tip number five time, and that is keybinds. So just like any Fortnite player out there or any gamer out there, you set keybinds for your games. Well, editors set keybinds for editing as well. So if we go up to edit and go down to keyboard shortcuts right above preferences, it brings up this dialog box here, guys, and this is where you can set any keybind you want. So there's a bunch of default ones that people use. I use a lot of default ones as well, but just like in a game, you want to set the keybinds for you personally. You don't just want to use what they give you. So make sure you guys are taking notes when you edit and after you've done a couple videos, find out the effects and the things that you do quite often and then maybe set those to keybinds that are easy for you to remember. And just like a game, you can also set keybinds on your mouse for Premiere Pro. I have um, cut on my mouse. I have scrub back and forth on my mouse. I have all kinds of editing keybinds on my mouse for things that I do quickly. Editing is all about doing it as fast as possible. You want to spend as little time editing as possible while still putting out quality content and the way you do that is through keybinds and speeding up your workflow realizing the things that you do quite often and making them easier so make sure you guys are taking notes on what you do often and then add those to your keybinds guys all right guys that is the end of the video i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please like the video and please consider subscribing and leaving a comment down below that says i really enjoyed this video it helped because i really want to continue to make more of these i know a lot about the adobe suite guys i know a lot about after effects photoshop premiere pro i've been doing this professionally for a long time and i really want to take my knowledge and shortcuts of these programs and tell you guys how you can make better content and faster content. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you did so I know to keep making more of these, but also consider following me on Twitter guys and ask me any questions there and also just stay updated with what I'm doing when videos are coming out. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.